our final presentation in the government as a process category is from Emma Antunis, who is a web manager for NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. Please welcome Emma to the stage. Great. What I'm going to talk to you about is Spacebook. What the heck is it? Why did we do it? And what did we learn? So the first thing that I'll show you is what we did with Spacebook was we created essentially a social network uh, with group collaboration features. We gave people user profiles, group workspaces, you know, with wikis, file sharing, discussion forums, and shared bookmarks that we got actually from the intelligence community. They provided a lot of mentoring for, for us. Um, so this is an example of what a profile looks like. You can see. Um, you can see me, you can see my information, and that comes from our enterprise directory. What was important to me was actually tying this in to existing data sources and not replicating. You know, so you can comment. Um, this is an example of what a, a group collaboration area looks like. You can see the discussion forum, you can see what people in the group are doing, um, and it has a lot of information like that, as well as get to the wiki. And on the next slide, you'll see an example of, really, it's a forums dashboard. Because what we find with a lot of sites is you get a forum for this and a forum for that, but you have to navigate to all of those places. So what we found in user testing, that having a dashboard of all your forums in one place really made it a lot easier to participate. And what was important to us in building this wasn't just to go and have fun and talk to people, but it was really to meet our web strategy, you know, improve the business, build relationships, and drive innovation and discovery because that's what NASA's business is, innovation and discovery. Um, and when you put different fields together, you know, what this graphic is supposed to show you is, hey, when you put astronomy and computer science together, you actually get computational astrophysics, and you develop a heck of a lot more interesting things when you get people from diverse fields to talk to each other. Because we've seen a lot of reasons why projects fail. You know, fear to tell the truth upward, uh, ineffective processes, lack of expertise. A lot of these things, are related to communication, related to trust and to teamwork, and related to accessing information, accessing information, expertise. And if we can improve all of those things together, we can help make projects succeed. And that was why we really wanted to focus on Spacebook, was really pushing and say, let's help our projects succeed. So what we learned in putting this together was it was very important to work with our community, understand what their needs were, um, what keeps them up at night, and plan to keep the content going. You know, make sure that the community is going to want to come back every day, or come back every month, or every six months. And in that same way, don't scare them by throwing stuff at them. Help them, give them what they need. Give, make it simple so that anybody can use it, and answer that, what's in it for me? Because we've got a lot of different uh, demographics going on in our organization. We, our biggest hump is between 40 to 60, which means we can expect that people will respond to things, they, maybe they'll reply, but they won't author very much. So we have to give them something to do to address that. And at the same time, we also have to address what's going on in that area, which is fear about change. Because especially in that 40 to 60 year old hump, we have fear, uncertainty, and doubt about, oh my goodness, you know, what if I publish something and I make a mistake? Everybody's gonna see it. You know, and a lot of these concerns, oh, you know, won't follow the chain of hierarchy, employees will waste time, and what's interesting is all of these fears are exactly the same as they were with email 20 years ago. So what it shows is there really a need for training on these social media concepts. How do I use this for work? How can I be effective? What are the rules of behavior? What is official? And so as we've rolled this out, we've really been talking with legal and other people and making them more comfortable with this. But really, it's pushing a big change in that publishing paradigm. Who publishes? Um, you know, and we've been teaching the webmasters how to do it. Now we have to teach everybody else what you publish. Loose lips still stink ships. You have to share information responsibly. You know, and when you publish needs to be timely. And those conventions also have to adapt in the enterprise. We actually changed friends to connections because we didn't want to imply any special relationship. It's more flat. Everyone can see everyone's profile information. And that's important. So what I would suggest to you all is really, if you're going to do something like this, push training and education, um, have an information release strategy, understand how you'll handle misuse if it comes up, and provide for really named publishing. So I know you, you, know, you were the person who spoke. Um, but in summary, we wanted to use social media to help us meet our business goals. 
And if we focus on the people, then the technology decisions are so much easier. So thank you very much. Thank you.